I had a party at my house a few weeks ago, and I've always hated the idea of excluding anybody, so I kind of cast a wide net in terms of invites. It was too wide. I know it. I hate having to do stuff like this, but it's either invite everybody or don't have a party at all. Because the last thing I want is for someone's status update or shared photo to ruin it for someone else that, sorry, I had a party and I didn't invite you. And am I really being cool about it? Looking back, I don't think I've ever been cool about it at all. I kind of spread the word in advance to the people that I would have invited had I allowed myself a more exclusive get-together. And then like two or three days before the event, I put out a general announcement to everybody at work and friends on Facebook. All I'm really doing is reaching for the bottom, right? Like, who else is not going to have any plans on such short notice? I feel like a jerk even laying it out like that, but that's exactly what it is, alright? People with nothing else to do, just waiting for a last minute sympathy invite. The party was on a Saturday. I sent out my mass invite on a Thursday, and Friday morning, this guy Phil at work sends me an email. Hey Rob, what should I bring? What do you what do you mean what should you bring? You ever been to a party before? Just, just bring some beer, a bottle of wine, I don't know, a bag of chips. This isn't high tea here. But, but what do I say? D don't bring anything. Because what are you really supposed to say? You tell people not to bring something. You kind of hope they bring a little extra booze or some snacks. N not jello. Okay? That's just weird. That's what Phil brought. He brought some weird, molded jello thing. Like something straight out of a 60s cookbook. A big, green ring with stuff floating around in it. Hey man, I made some dessert. And he was smiling. <laughs> like I was trying to get a read on him. Was this some sort of a joke, like a gag gift? I swear, I couldn't tell. And while a part of me really wanted to laugh and be like, ha, that's hilarious. I just really wasn't that convinced that this jello thing wasn't anything less than 100% sincere. I was right in the middle of laying out all of the snacks, pouring this giant bag of tortilla chips that I had bought from Costco into a big plastic bowl. I had all this party stuff spread out around me, and it wasn't because I wasn't ready yet, okay? It was because Phil showed up exactly at 8 o'clock. Like, he was walking around the block? Just waiting for the clock to strike eight so he could knock on my door? Nobody else was here yet, and I was clearly still setting up, but he has this thing in my face. It wasn't even wrapped. Like, I understand how he got it all the way from his place to my place. Was he just sitting on the subway with this jello on his lap, like, breathing on it? it it's too much. And I get it, okay? Like, I can be socially awkward sometimes, I have the same tendency to overthink everything, and yeah, when I get invited to a party, I'm totally stressed out about what time I'm supposed to show up, right? But I'm not the guy walking around the block wasting time so I can show up at just the right second, okay? I'm the guy walking around the block waiting for just the right time to make an entrance that looks natural, like I'm not obsessing about how many people have arrived before me or if I'm too late, okay? So I understand. But this guy is like me, but with absolutely no inhibitions. Just, it's 8 o'clock, ding dong, here's your jello. Maybe it was a joke. Ha, that's funny. I did say it, hoping he'd laugh back. Because come on, dude, I've never seen a dessert like that in real life, and maybe it's really tasty and everything, but nobody's going to eat that. And tell me you had it wrapped up. Please, tell me you ditched the wrapping outside something because I can't get over the exposed jiggly surface like somebody two seats down from you on the subway sneezes. It just seems like a, a giant germ magnet. What's so funny? <laughs> and what do I say to that? N nothing, I said. Just something I was thinking about from earlier. Something funny happened, you know? And he's like, what happened? And I wanted to be like, Phil... Come on, dude. <laughs> just help me out a little here, okay? Just just stop the follow-up questions. Just put down the jello, man. Come on, dude. Just let me finish setting up here. Where do you want me to put this jello? I don't know, man. 
<laughs> anywhere is fine. Just grab yourself a drink, okay? Just hang out while I finish getting ready. And I'm telling you, that fucking jello was like the hit of the party. I don't even know where the cake slicer thing came from because I definitely don't have a cake slicer. Like, Phil must have brought it, okay? He must have just had that in his back pocket. But everybody had like cake slices of jello. I wanted to give out a warning like, Jesus, Chris, don't eat that jello. And Chris was like, why? This jello is awesome. Classic Phil. What was I not getting? You've done this before? Yeah, man. Phil brings it to all the parties. That's like his thing. <laughs> and I was just thinking. How come I've never been to any parties with Phil before? Like, I don't care, okay? It's not like I have to be invited to everything, okay? I, I know that not everybody does the whole blanket invite thing like I do, but not once. How many parties are people having that Phil's invited to that I'm not? Because I would have noticed that, okay? I'm telling you, I would have noticed a green fucking jello ring cake with pieces of canned pineapple floating around in it.